Hello. Um, um, the key verse is 2 Corinthians 6 2. For he says, In a favorable time I listened to you, and in a day of salvation I have helped you. Behold, now is the favorable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. I once listened to a testimony that gave a great influence for me to accept God. A woman who has suffered by a car accident told a story how God has worked in her life. She was a pretty young college student when she encountered an accident. While she was driving, a car with a drunken driver crushed her car behind and her car was burned. As a result, 70% of her body was burned. Her pretty face was gone and only few fingers were left in her hands. Since she was a Christian, she prayed God while she was being suffered. One day, while she was praying, she heard Jesus' voice say, Don't cry, my loving child. I know you're suffering of torn flesh. I will be with you, and you, I will cure you. After ten years, she reminded those times was the time when she met God the most beautifully, and said if she had gone back to the past, she would, ha uh, she, she would have chosen the way of car accident again, since that time was so precious for her for receiving God's grace. It was a hard time, a favorite time for her. After listening to her testimony, I had the hope of God, who has power to comfort those who are afflicted even by the worst case. I also have experienced that I can see God more clear, clearly when I am in hard times. On those times, just on those desperate times, I realized that there is nothing but God whom, whom I can depend on. For example, I used to be suffered by sense of condemnation. When I know that I did wrong and people were suffered by my sin, I became afraid of uh, not only God's judgment, but also that of other people and judgment from myself as well. I felt I am evil, evil by myself, so it would be better for me to be disappeared or die. I feel like my heart is pointed by God waiting to kill me. At that time, the only person I could talk about my agony was God, and I read uh, Romans chapter 8 saying, there is no condemnation for, the, for one who lives in Christ. That first saved me from the pain of condemnation, since it is the word from God who has almighty power over the world, and God who has true authority of judgment sent his only son Jesus to this world to save me from my sin. Those hard times gave me a chance to be attached and be with God, who listened to me carefully and who helped me by giving salvation. On the other hand, when I was non-believer, I also was on, other on the other position persecuting Christians. At that time, I thought grace of God does not exist, so all who talked about grace of God seemed the imposters. Even after I learned about grace of God, when I could not accept it in my heart, I misunderstood, dishonored, slandered, and persecuted several Christians, including my Bible teacher. <coughs> However, their patient attitude and kindness as a Christian made me keep seeking of hope in Christianity. Their pure mind of teaching gospel, their genuine love towards me, and their truthful speech of their knowledge finally bear a fruit in that God led me to accept myself as a sinner and Jesus, the Son of God, as my Savior in my deep heart. They were having sleepless nights, hardship, so in their minds to teach gospel to me. When I realized that I persecuted those Christians who spoke truth and who showed love to me, I felt deep guilty and would like to sink through the floor because of shame. However, at that desperate moment, I could see and hope God for me since he promised cleansing me from my sin. I believe as Jesus forgave a woman who committed a love to me, a woman with five husbands, a servant of high priest who was about to catch him, and a criminal on the cross. Uh, eventually, Jesus died to clean our sins. We are saved by God's grace. With the comfort of saving covenant, I could repent my sins of mis misunderstanding and persecuting Christians. I felt shame, but the shame turned into grace because God's covenant of saving grace enabled me to admi admit my sin, repent it, and go toward God. There is change in my heart. Now I would like to open my mouth to share the gospel which saved me from pain of condemnation, pain of guilty feeling, pain of shame, and ultimately gave me eternal life. My goal of life has been set to glorify God. I have conviction that helping people to be comforted by grace of God with which I was comforted, 
is the best way to help people and to glorify God. I might be persecuted and misunderstood as I did to Christians before, but I do not afraid of it. I, I am not afraid of it because those times are favorite times when I could plant seeds of faith to people as I experienced. By working with God, I can endure it, be kind to others, hold the Holy Spirit, and have a genuine love to others in the time. And the time should be now. One word, open my heart, open my mouth. Thank you.